What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. It's West Ham 3, Chelsea 2, and we have completely bowled a chance to go into third place. Ah, oh, this one hurts so much. West Ham have gone and they've done the double over us. I can't even believe I'm saying this with a straight face, but West Ham United have done the double over us. So we've probably given them, what, a sixth of their points in the Premier League season? I think it's very significant of this season. I think it signifies the entire season that we played so brilliantly against Manchester City and we just collapsed the way that we did today. Today was just dreadful, defensive disaster class. We looked like we had two holograms in centre-back in Rudiger and Christensen today. It was just awful. It was so predictable as well. We knew West Ham would put 10 men behind the ball. We knew the last thing we'd have to do, we'd want to do is give them a goal. And we were so worried we'd do that when Suchek had the first goal, which was disallowed for the Mikhail Antonio offside. But it was a struggle with us even driving the ball forward. I mean, Barkley carried the ball pretty well, but the end product, as per usual, was dreadful. I think Chino's said it very right in the fan cam about two weeks ago. And he said, maybe we shouldn't go after Habits so we should look after centre-backs. And this entire game has just justified his entire point. But I think even, even on the same point, you look at it and it's like, we could do with better people carrying the ball in midfield. I mean, fucking hell. Bar Pulisic and Willian, no one else really did anything. Tammy Abraham, the ball was fed into him behind a couple of times. He just didn't have the pace on it. And Bar Day struggled with the, with the strength of the two centre-backs. He just looked like he was having a difficult game. Willian, I'll be real, looks, if he's playing for a contract, he's, play, he's doing a brilliant job of it. And I can't discredit the performance he's had over the last couple of weeks. He's been excellent. And there was another great performance for him again. Defensively, we just let ourselves down. I mean, that first goal, set pieces yet again. And it's like we didn't even learn from the offside goal, which was such a big warning sign. First off, Kepa. What are you doing running for the ball like that? And you're not even looking at the players in front of you. The guy literally ran and then ran into Kante's elbow and then tried to come back and it was too late and he was out of position again. Been trying to defend Kepa all year, but seriously, what are you doing, man? Tammy Abraham as well. If, if you just stand straight, the ball's going to hit you and then you can clear it. What are you doing jumping up backwards with your, foot in, with your body in the air for? What kind of clearance were you even trying to do there? It's another disaster class when it comes to set pieces and it's been so Chelsea this season. But we brought it back to 2-2 and at that point, no, no, it was 1-1 after the William penalty and we looked like we we're going to bring it, win the game back and then... Another defensive disaster class. Antonio drops onto the floor, but the ball goes onto the far right-hand side. Rudiger loses the man they was marking initially. Andreas Christensen looks at Antonio and then starts ball-watching. And Antonio finds himself free in the box again for a second goal. And it's another defensive mistake. Then we pull it back to 2-2. And then we look like we could potentially maybe be getting that third goal, but we're like trying to apply pressure on them. But West Ham just do the same thing that they've been doing all game, which is just letting us come forward and trying to hit us on the counter-attack when we've committed too, men, too many men going forward. And it happened again. First off, Marcus Alonso, because the goal's showing up on the screen again. What the fuck was that? I mean, on the turn as well, we know how bad Alonso is with his pace. And I can understand that maybe it's going to be tough with him on the counter-attack. I get that. Maybe if you're, if you're not the fastest player, I respect that. If you're not even attempting to run at the start and you're just jogging at the start, I can't justify that. What was that? Defensive disaster class all throughout the back four. I think Azpilicueta might be the only player that comes out of it with any sort of credit in defence. Everyone else I thought was poor. Andreas Christensen looked like a completely different player from the Man City game. Rudiger just looked rash all game and it just looked like there was an error in him all match. Midfield... Kante, I'm not really so sure about. Barkley, I thought, was poor. Who was the third midfielder? Kovacic. Kovacic wasn't that bad today, I'll give him that. But defensively, we were just a shambles. And third place, this, it's annoying because we did so well to get ourselves up into a position where we could be two points clear of Leicester if we, made it to, if we won this game. And we just let it slip out of our hands. I, I mean, if I look at the game and the way the game panned out, and it was just so predictable. It was so predictable. And... We just let it happen. And to be fair, I think that's the most annoying part of it. But I guess we just got to take it on the chin and move on, I guess. It's Watford next. Watford at home, I think. And I guess that's a good chance for us to turn the game round on its head. But this one, this if it 
if top four goes down to points and it's a matter of one or two points, hell, anything up to six, because we've let West Ham do the double over us, and that is so embarrassing. But it, it is what it is. I guess we just got to start looking forward. If we let this, if we let this be a big significant point in our season and it's all going to be downhill from here let's just try and take it on the chin and move on let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe to blues fans tv we're like 100 and 200 subs away from 100k i don't even feel like celebrating it now if we hit 100k because we'll just feel so tin pot doing it but if you haven't done so already don't forget to like and subscribe let me know your thoughts on whether you think we're going to make the top four don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well. I'm going to do a player ratings on there, which is great because that means I've got to relive this shit show one more time. But it is what it is. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. And let's just hope we don't bottle top four because after last season and all the piss taking we'd be doing, it'd be so terrible. Like, subscribe. And the only positive out today is I didn't have to go to the dump that is the London Stadium. So it's not all bad, I guess. Up the Chelsea.